1967 Kennedy half dollar. Graded in mint state 66 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, a richly toned silver clad half dollar. The obverse features a colorful mixture of red, green and gold iridescence that must be viewed to fully appreciate it. The reverse is mostly brilliant with some rainbow tones at the border. It was sold for $2,232.50. Number 7. 1925 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 64 Red and Brown by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1925 S. Lincoln Cent is scarce in Mint State with original red color. Choice examples are particularly elusive, and finer pieces are rare. This highly sought-after penny fetched a sum of $2,640. Number 6. 1932 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 64 by PCGS. This debut year Denver issue is one of the two key dates in the Washington Quarter series and is scarce above MS 64. CAC endorsed pieces are elusive even in the current grade and are rare finer. This well struck coin displays satiny mint luster with a tinge of golden toning. Minimal abrasions are apparent. It was sold for $3,360 on January 10, 2024. Number 5. 1943 S. Jefferson Nickel Struck on a Zinc-Coated Steel Scent Planchet. Graded as AU55 by NGC. An interesting mistake occurred at the Mint. Someone placed a 1943 steel planchet, intended for a scent, into the nickel hopper. The result, a 1943 S. Nickel Struck on a 1-cent planchet. Deep steel gray surfaces with light wear. It was sold for $4,112.50. Number 4. 1909 SVDB Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 Red and Brown by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions the popularity is undiminished for this San Francisco issue, with claims to the favorite regular issue coin in the entire US series. This is an original and pleasing gem uncirculated example, with lustrous orange color beneath smooth brown overtones. A few tiny flecks blend in, while I appeal remains strong. It an up selling for $5,280. Number 3. 1968 No S. Roosevelt Dime. Graded as PR69 by NGC. According to Stax Bowers, a gem proof of extraordinary eye appeal, a coin with deeply mirrored surfaces that proclaim full mint brilliance. The devices exhibit faint frost in a bright light source, especially at the peripheral legends. The 1968 No S. Dime was the first of the proof S. Less varieties to come to light in numismatics. This elusive specimen ended up selling for $28,200. Number 2. 1916 Buffalo Nickel with Double Die Obverse. Graded as AU55 by PCGS. Of all Buffalo Nickels, the 1916 Double Die Obverse is the rarest of the major die varieties and also one of the most spectacular. The offered coin is a frosty golden gray specimen with exceptional luster and eye appeal for the grade. Bold doubling is noted at the feathers and the Native American's lips, chin, and neck, and of course, at the date where the doubling is bold and distinct. It was sold for $30,561.75. Number 1. 1944D Lincoln Cent Struck on a Zinc-Plated Steel Planchet. Graded in Mint State 62 by PCGS. Deep steel gray with marginally lighter high points. Low magnification reveals a small patch of light roughness around Lincoln's forehead and at trust, a trivial matter given the strong rarity of the issue and probably the cause of its Mint State 62 ranking. No doubt struck early in 1944, in Denver, when the steel blanks of 1943 were being ushered out of the system to make way for the 1944 cent. It is presumed that a small number of steel zinc planchets were stuck in the press hoppers or tote bins. This super rare error penny ended up selling for $96,937.50. So that wraps up today's episode. Stay tuned to CoinOz for more captivating numismatic content. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe buttons below this video. Take care.